Hi, it's Ed Butowski. So this is the one chart I want you to focus on for the entire video. And I'm gonna keep this pretty short today. But 44% of the earnings growth for the S&P 500 companies comes from outside the United States. So even though the companies are based here in the United States, 44% of the earnings growth rates come from outside the US. So we have to look at how the globe is doing. And I can't help but think that we're gonna have negative earnings growth from outside the United States, mainly because of what you see here. And what, you, what you're looking at is the central bank rate is what the government is paying in savings rates. And then you have the CPI. And remember, a lot of these countries in Norway and Australia and Malaysia, they put their money in the banks. They're not putting money into the stock market or the real estate market. And what they're ending up with is a negative real growth rate, meaning the central bank minus the CPI year over year is what people are getting paid. So in Switzerland, if you put your money in the bank in Switzerland, you're getting negative 0.25% and the inflation is growing at 3.4. So the combination is a negative 3.7% uh, on your money. And it only takes a little while. And you can see all the red here. You can see uh, the Europe, Eurozone, they're paying zero in the central bank and their inflation is 8.9%. So the real central bank rate is 8.9%. So it only takes a little while before all of these countries and these people in these countries have less money to buy items. They're just maintaining what they can possibly do to survive. So, you know, if you're uh, a detergent, uh, if you're, you know, a soap of some kind and, you know, some of these consumer uh, staples, you might be doing okay because they're still going to pay up for these items. But if you're a you know, consumer discretion and you derive a lot of your income from outside the United States, you have to focus in on this chart. Uh, a couple of countries uh, that are important is China. You know, China, the central bank rate is 3.7% and their inflation stated is 27 and they cut their interest rate 1% recently. Uh, which is somewhat surprising. So you see a couple more greens here. Brazil uh, has a positive um, uh, central bank rate uh, because their inflation is 13.75 and their inflation is 10.1. But you have to worry about, you know, do you invest in Brazil? You have to worry about their currency, uh, which is not very, very strong. But the takeaway from all of this is that we derive so much of our income from outside the United States uh, in terms of our S&P 500 companies growth rates. The question is, are the growth rates going to get hurt because of the weakness in the global market? And I do believe that's the case. Take care.